Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the Excel automation scenario series. In this series, we are looking at the real time Excel scenarios that we deal while during the Excel automation with the UiPath Studio. Let's see the agenda for this video. This video would be continuation to the last video where we are looking at the invoke code activity. In this video, we are going to see how we can apply a loop in the invoke code. So for example, in the previous video, we have seen how we can delete a single sheet in the Excel with the help of the invoke code activity. In this video, we will apply a for each loop to the code. Here, what we are going to do is we will delete multiple sheets. Here we will provide the list of sheet to the invoke code and then we will try to execute the code to delete the multiple sheet at once. And all of this we are going to see with the help of our demonstration. To start with the automation, I have an Excel sheet with me. The name of the Excel sheet is delete sheet excel.xlsx and I have separate uh, several tabs available such as agriculture, mining, retail, accommodation, health and let us add one more sheet called sheet one here. So in the previous video, what we have done is we have written a UiPath code in UiPath Studio that was to delete a single sheet from UiPath uh, from the Excel with the help of UiPath Studio. So uh, in case you haven't watched the previous video, I'll put the link in the description and you can refer that where we are explaining each and every activity. We are explaining how the invoke code works okay and also we are explaining how to deal with the assembly so when do you whenever you do it for the first time you might encounter the assembly reference exception issue so that is also addressed in the video that is available in the description the objective of this video is to delete the multiple sheet so in the last video what we have seen that when we run the code we were able to delete a single sheet from here right so let me just show you in demonstration i'll save this excel and we have an excel called sheet one I'll close the Excel. This is the code and uh, this is referring to the Excel which is located at the project folder here. And then we have something called sheet name. So now I'll specify here sheet one. Save everything and let us just go here and run the file. The bot will execute. The bot is executing and it should delete the excel uh, sheet called sheet one okay so i go to the output i do not see any error let me go back again here open this excel and the sheet one is lost okay so this code is very well explained in the video now the objective here is to delete the multiple sheet so when i say multiple sheet so let's say if i again go back to the excel and now instead of deleting a single sheet i want to delete multiple sheets so i want to delete rental accommodation retail for that matter let's say mining and no, various sheet right so I want to delete a number of sheets so how we can do that with the help of invoke code so one way is that I create uh, various uh, what you call I create a separate assign activity copy and paste this uh, assign activity multiple times and then I invoke this code multiple times and a good way or a better way would be to use for each loop inside this excel code in inside this invoke code so the objective here would be to store all the list of the sheets in an list of string then we will use the invoke code activity and inside the invoke code now we are deleting a single sheet we'll try to write a for each loop here we will try to implement the looping logic of for each here we will try to get the data the list of the sheet name from ui path and then we'll try to use the same in the invoke code okay so that is the objective here let's see how we can do that in uipath studio so before that uh, see so we are in the invoke code if i go to the properties so in the properties i don't know why it's not loading properly okay let me mm -mm. okay okay i'll save this close this let me reopen the main.xml okay and if i go back to the properties now i do not see the language okay this is okay i think 
yeah so if you'll see the language which i have selected is the vb.net so that means the invoke code is expecting the vb.net language right and now we want to implement a for each loop so i what i will do is i will take an assign activity i will create a variable which i called list of sheets to delete and the data type for this would be this would be a list of string so i go here browse for types i will type here list and then i will select the generic list one i'll scroll down scroll down list of this and the the name of the sheets will be of type string so i will select list of string hit ok and this is done okay so the next thing we have to do is we have to provide values to the list of strings so as of now i will just hard code the value so i'll go here go to the properties in the values i will type new list okay and i will type here of which type string next what are the values right so i want which uh, which all items we want to have in the list so let's say i want to have sheet one and i want to have arts next i want to have mining i remember okay and hit okay so now what we have done is we have taken a list of strings uh, so the list of strings is having three sheets sheet one arts and mining let me just go back here and see whether we have we have we don't have arts here so i will just create a sheets called arts okay we have mining available we don't have sheet one so i will just rename this guy to sheet one and just let's add retail also so i go here in the list properties value let me add retail retail hit okay so now so if you will see the invoke code now the invoke code is expecting two arguments as we have seen in the previous video so the now what i want to do is i want to pass one more argument and the argument would be list of sheets type would be in direction and the data type again you would have guessed it correctly it would be list of strings and so now the next thing is we have seen that we are using a vb.net code here okay so we are using a vb.net code here and so how do we iterate so if i just do a google search of um, for each loop in vb.net okay let's try to open our link and see how does it looks like so if you'll see the syntax for the for each loop is for each item okay and in the group and then we uh, pass the statement here and then to uh, get the next element we have to type next okay so as an example if you will see what uh, they are doing here is for each item in so this is an array so in our case this is list of the sheet name so we would write for each uh, sheet in this list then we will do the delete operation and then at the end we will type the next okay so this is the syntax which we have to use in the code okay so now uh, when we are aware of the code so let's see how we can use the same code in the info code activity let me go back to your path studio okay i'll go here in the edit code so if you will see now we are doing here is uh, let me just give a quick recap so what we have done here we have initialized the excel application workbook and a worksheet then we open the file name the file name consists of the file name of the excel the complete path of the excel and then we have displayed the alert false because whenever we delete a sheet microsoft excel throws a pop-up that do you want to permanently delete this sheet to suppress that pop-up we have written this line and then when everything is okay we are just deleting that sheet so this all is explained in the previous video now here we want to uh, iterate the list of sheets so if i go back again to the browser you see the syntax is this so how do we write here right so we type here for each okay and then the next is the name of the sheet right so to make it more sense i'll just type name of sheet and then the syntax is we have to type in the i is in capital okay i will type here in and next is the list so if you see we have the list of items already passed as an argument so if i type here list of 
okay I just forgot the name okay let me go back and check the argument the argument is list of sheets okay I'll just copy this Hit okay go to the edit code and here I type list of sheets okay so if I just hover over it we should get an at the rate symbol that means that it is being assigned as an parameter okay so now what we are doing here is we are iterating the list of sheets next what we have to do is we have to use the delete code so the delete code will be exactly the same right but the only change would be the sheet name in the last tutorial we were passing the sheet name as an input argument but this time it would be the item from this list so the name of the item is name of the sheet so i'll copy this here paste it here okay now if we again go back to the example in the vb.net syntax we see that at the end we have to write the next and then we have to specify the element or else we can just type the next okay so i'll just go back here and i will write next so let me just correct it next and hit okay again i am getting some error here what is that error name of the sheet is not declared okay because we have not declared this name of the sheet so what we can do is click ok go to the edit argument and either we can rename this one or i will just keep it like this and add a new argument of string sheet name okay hit save and the error is gone okay so now let us visit the code again what we are doing here is we are iterating the list of sheets which is passed as an argument we have created a variable called name of sheet and we are invoking the code to delete the sheet and once this is done we are telling the invoke code to get the next item from this list hit ok ok so now in uipath i have the list of strings now the last thing what we have to do is we have to copy and pass the value to the argument so i go here edit arguments and here i pass the list of uh, list of sheets to delete and select this hit ok okay so our code is complete let's revisit the code so what we are doing here we have an excel which is placed at a location i have created a variable called str excel path that str excel path is holding the complete path of the excel next i have a sheet called str sheet name so this we were using in the last tutorial i can get rid of it okay now next i have a list of sheets to delete so this list of sheets is having a list of the sheets which i want to delete and as of now i have hard coded it hard coded in the real world implementation all of these things can be configurable in the config file and we can read the config file and then initialize the list of sheets next we have an invoke code activity in the last tutorial we were deleting a single sheet but this time we want to delete multiple sheets so for that we are using a for each loop the syntax we have taken from the tutorials point and once the sheet is deleted we want the code to fetch the next item so we have written next then suppressing the pop-up alert equal to false then saving everything and then closing the workbook hit ok hit save let's check the sheets we are deleting sheet 1 arts mining and retail so sheet 1 arts retail and mining so if i run the code now what should happen is we should lost all this four sheet and we should not get the mining arts sheet 1 and retail in this excel sheet let me save here i will close this excel let me go here and run the file The robot is executing here we can see now it will run the open and everything will happen in the background let us wait for the execution to complete the execution is completed i do not see any error execution was completed in 14 seconds let me again go back to the project i will double click the delete excel sheet and if i just open it we see the sheets are lost now i do not see arch sheet one mining and the one more was there right we have specified for arts mining and retail so four sheets are 
<coughs> removed and we are just having the remaining one so this is how we can use the invoke code to delete multiple sheets and we have also seen how we can type a for each loop inside the invoke code activity that is all for this video i'll wrap this session here in this video we have seen that how we can delete multiple sheets with the help of the invoke code activity in case you haven't watched the other video in this series i would uh, request you to go to the channel and see where we have other uh, real-time scenarios such as split the csv to multiple get the dynamic cell create edit and debug the vba in this previous video we have seen that what is the difference between the invoke vba and the invoke code activity so you can watch these videos as well so thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation